Hello everyone, it's Simon here, aka The Quiz Wizard, and welcome to the Thursday Night Lockdown Quiz. A little bit of a different one this evening, it's the first ever pre-recorded lockdown quiz. I'm not going to lie, I feel a little bit like Graham Norton recording his uh, Christmas show uh, way earlier than it actually gets released. So um, the format will still be exactly the same, and I'll get onto that in a moment. Um, so... If you are taking part tonight via YouTube uh, and you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do by clicking the subscribe button. Um, also, in the banner across the top, you can join our Facebook group by clicking on that icon. And as well as that, you can also tweet the quiz wizard at the underscore quiz underscore wizard. Loads of quizzes on my channel now. You're taking part in the Thursday night lockdown quiz. This is lockdown quiz 18. Also got mini quizzes that get uploaded, uh, usually about three or four of those each week. So check those out, take about five minutes. And then we also have the kids quizzes that uh, you may as well have a go at during uh, the six week summer holidays as well. Remember the quiz master is always right. Well, most of the time. YouTube subscribers. Broke 1,000 last week, and I'm on 1,026 at the time of recording today. And the map is still growing as to where people are taking part from. So let me know where you're taking part from tonight. So how does the lockdown quiz work? It is six rounds of eight questions, all on different topics. And uh, just for fun, not a prize this week. But uh, at the end of the quiz, do comment and let me know how many you have scored. Right, let's get going then. Um, our first round this evening is general knowledge. Here we go. Question one. Konnichiwa is Japanese for what? So Konnichiwa is Japanese for what? Here's question two. Who was the demon barber of Fleet Street? Who was the demon barber of Fleet Street? Number three tonight. Which Ridley Scott film earned Russell Crowe a Best Actor Oscar? Which Ridley Scott film earned Russell Crowe a Best Actor Oscar? Join you with a little tipple. Not on the alcohol, just a, a nice uh, DC for me. Nice Diet Coke this evening. Cheers, though. Question four. Of which religion are Shiva and Vishnu major gods? So, of which religion are Shiva and Vishnu major gods? Question five. What type of creature is a purple emperor? So, what type of creature is a purple emperor? Number six, who composed the 1812 Overture? So who composed the 1812 Overture? Number seven, who starred as Vanessa Kensington in Austin Powers? International Man of Mystery. Yeah, baby. Who starred as Vanessa Kensington, Kensington in Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. And the last question of the round. Number eight. Which fashion house 
named after its founder, was formed in Florence in 1921. Which fashion house named after its founder was formed in Florence in 1921? I went round the museum there when I visited Florence. Wasn't too bad, actually. As usual, I'll give you a quick recap of all of those in case you've tuned in a little bit later. So number one, Konnichiwa is Japanese for what? Number two, who was the demon barber of Fleet Street? Three, which Ridley Scott film earned Russell Crowe a Best Actor Oscar? Number four, of which religion are Shiva and Vishnu major gods? Number five tonight was what type of creature is a purple emperor? Number six, who composed the 1812 Overture? Seven was who starred as Vanessa Kensington in Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery? And number eight was which fashion house, named after its founder, was formed in Florence in 1921? That's round one done. Let's move on to round two tonight, which is geography. And here is question one. What river flows through Paris? What river flows through Paris? Question two. Jamaica is considered part of which continent? Jamaica is considered part of which continent? Number three. Which is the largest US state in terms of population? Which is the largest US state in terms of population? Number four, in 1862, Bucharest became the capital city of which country? In 1862, Bucharest became the capital city of which country? Number five. Which is the most southerly capital city in the world? Which is the most southerly capital city in the world? I think the most northern capital city is Reykjavik in Iceland, but that's not going to help you for this. <laughs> Question six. English is one of the two official languages of Cameroon. What is the other? So English is one of the two official languages of Cameroon, but what is the other? Number seven. If .uk is the internet domain extension for the UK, which country uses .bg? So .uk is an internet domain extension for the United Kingdom. Which country uses .bg? Bug. And last question in this round, number eight. Oh, I've been kind of giving you some options on this one. How many US states start with the letter A? Four, five, or six? How many US states start with the letter A? Four, five, or six? Quick recap again. In the interest of fairness, number one was which river flows through Paris? Number two, Jamaica is considered part of which continent? Number three, which is the largest US state in terms of population? Number four, uh, in 1862, Bucharest became the capital city of which country? 
Number five, which is the most southerly capital city in the world? Number six, English is one of the two languages of Cameroon. What is the other? Number seven, if .uk is the internet domain extension for United Kingdom, what country uses .bg? And number eight, how many US states start with the letter A, four, five, or six? Now, as has become tradition in the lockdown quiz, number three is a picture round, famous cats. So you are going to see eight pictures of famous cats and you need to tell me their name. It's as simple as that. I'll give you a couple of minutes to um, have a look at these. So here we go. Here are your eight cats. Each question number is in the star. Remember, if you're taking part in this quiz tonight, you're doing it through the Quiz Wizard YouTube channel. So you can comment at any point. Which rounds, how are the rounds going? Are they, are they tough? Are they easy? Are you doing all right? Feeling confident? Remember, let me know who you are and where you're taking part from as well. Do I have my usual people taking part on Twitter tonight? Billy Barnes, the Wenningtons, and also my friends from just round the corner, the Halls. If you are, still pop me a tweet, let me know how you're getting on. So let's get back to these famous cats from the world of film, cartoon, TV. A couple of trickier ones on there. Is hope you're enjoying the quiz so far. I'll just give you another minute or so on this round. Famous cats. Who are they? Are you a cat fan? Number one looks very sad. Number six looks very angry. And number eight is looking fairly smug. 30 seconds or so. Now at this point, I would normally Stop the share and you and you'd be joined by my Zoom friends. Fortunately, that's not happening tonight. But it is time for the answers to rounds one, two, and three. So here we go. Round one was general knowledge. Konnichiwa is Japanese for hello. Number two, the demon barber at Fleet Street. Well, that's, that's Sweeney Todd. Number three, yeah, well-known film. Uh, Russell Crowe won Best Actor Oscar for Gladiator. Great film. Number four, Shiva and Vishnu are major gods in the religion of Hinduism. Number five, a purple emperor. Well done if you put butterfly. Number six, it was Tchaikovsky who composed the 1812 overture. Number seven, who starred as Vanessa Kensington in Austin Powers 
it was Elizabeth Hurley. Um, I think in the film afterwards, she comes back as a robot and Austin Powers comes out with a line, machine gun jubblies, how do I miss those? And number eight, yeah, it was Gucci. So Gucci uh, was formed in Florence in 1921. And yeah, that's the uh, museum that I look around and it was, it's well worth a look if you ever go to Florence. Okay, round two is geography. Yes, the River Seine is the river that flows through Paris, Paris. Number two, so Jamaica is considered part of North America. Um, yeah, it comes from that Central America region, but it's considered to be part of North America. So I always remember that from um, where they play football, CONCACAF. They play against Canada and America. So number three, the largest US state in terms of population is California. Yes, and um, Bucharest became the capital city of Romania. Bucharest and Budapest quite often get those uh, mixed up, but Budapest is obviously Hungary. Number five, Wellington is the most southerly capital city in the world, and it is the south of the North Island in New Zealand. Windy Wellington. Number seven, English is the first official language and French is the uh, second language of Cameroon. And number seven, dot .bg would be the internet domain extension for Bulgaria. And number eight, four states start with letter A. And there they are, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona and Arkansas. And then we had famous cats. So here are your pictures. Number one from uh, one of the Shrek films. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments which one. It's Puss in Boots. Number two from Winnie the Pooh, Tigger. Number three. So yeah, another Austin Powers question. Well done if you put Mr. Bigglesworth. Yeah, Dr. Evil, psychic. Number four from the Jungle Book, that's Bagheera. Number five from Henry's Cat, it's Henry's Cat. Number six from The Simpsons, you've got Itchy and Scratchy, but the cat is scratchy. Number seven from the Chronicles of Narnia, Aslan. And number eight is Garfield. So that's the end of the first half of the quiz. Uh, I will still do an interval, give you a couple of minutes to go and get yourselves a beverage or whatever you need to do in two minutes. In the meantime, what I'll say is, there's been a few mini quizzes uploaded this week. Go and check them out if you haven't yet. So the music quiz was um, a girl group quiz. You get three songs from each girl group and you need to tell me the name of the group. And then the cartoons quiz that came out this week, um, you got the address of a famous cartoon family or person and I wanted you to tell me who lived at that address. So two very different mini quizzes there, but why not give them a go? Also, if you are um, just waiting for me to restart, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button and also the notification bell next to it. That will tell you when new quizzes come available. And also, don't forget to like by hitting the thumbs up button and leave a comment, either at half time, telling me how many you've scored or at the end. 
Let's give another 30 seconds or so before I restart with round four. I hope you all managed to find the quiz okay on the channel. Okay, you're going to get restarted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three more rounds to come. And here is round number four tonight. It's music lyrics. So you're going to get some lyrics from a song, but one or two words have been replaced with the word blank. So you need to tell me what words go in that gap okay so here is your first one lyric one i'm just a poor boy nobody loves me he's just a poor boy from a poor blank i'm just a poor boy nobody loves me he's just a poor boy from a poor blank Feel free to be uh, singing these in your, in, your, in your own homes. If you know it, obviously. Lyric two. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Barely getting by, it's all taken and blank, blank. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Barely getting by, it's all taken and Blank, blank. You get the idea now. Here comes lyric three. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. And now you're out of blank. Yeah. <laughs> It's so hard not to try and uh, do it in the actual uh, way the song is. So, oh baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go, and now you're out of blank, yeah. Lyric number four. Up in the club, just broke up, I'm doing my own blank, blank. <clears throat> so that's up in the club, club, just broke up, up, I'm doing my own blank, blank. Oh, I've set myself up here, haven't I? Tricky time. Lyric five. No, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, no, no. I don't want none of your blank. No, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, no. No, I don't want none of your blank. <laughs> Lyric six. Daddy, daddy, if you could only see just how good he's been treating me, you'd give it some blank right now. Daddy, daddy, if you could only see just how good he's been treating me, you'd give it some blank right now. Number seven. I want your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's blank. I want your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's blank. And number eight. Long one here. I was working part time in a five and dime. 
my boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times he didn't like my kind because I was a bit too blank. I was working part time in a five and dime. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times that he didn't like my kind because I was a bit too blank. It's got a fly. <laughs> okay, I will I will recap those just once more. So I'll, I'll do it fairly quickly. Number one, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor blank. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Barely getting by, it's all taken and blank blank. Oh baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. And now you're out of blank, yeah. Up in the club, club, just broke up, up. I'm doing my own blank, blank. Number five, no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, 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 I don't want none of your blank. Daddy, daddy, if you could only see just how good he's been treating me. You'd give it some blank right now. I want your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's blank. And then the long one at the end. I was working part time in a five and dime. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times that he didn't like my kind because I was a bit too blank. Okay. Round five this evening is guess the actor. So this round works by, um, I'm going to give you three films, three film titles. And uh, yeah, from those three films, you need to tell me the actor that has appeared in all three. Okay. So here we go with question one. So who has appeared in Zoolander, Elf, and Step Brothers. Zoolander, Elf, and Step Brothers. Question two. Which actor has appeared in Love Actually, Notting Hill, and Four Weddings and a Funeral? Three. Oh, three of them. Good films. So Love Actually, Notting Hill, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Number three. Right, who's appeared in 10 Things I Hate About You, The Dark Knight and Brokeback Mountain. Ten Things I Hate About You, The Dark Knight, Broke that mountain. Number four, which actor hmm, has appeared in Braveheart, Lethal Weapon, and Pocahontas? Braveheart, Lethal Weapon, and Pocahontas. Number five, which actor has appeared in The Wolf of Wall Street? Great film. Dallas Buyers Club and Interstellar. The Wolf of Wall Street, Dallas Buyers Club and Interstellar. Number six. Who's appeared in Titanic, Django Unchained, and The Revenant? Question seven. Fight Club, The Incredible Hulk, and Birdman. 
which actor has been in Fight Club, The Incredible Hulk and Birdman? And last question, number eight, which actor has been in Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic Park and The Magnificent Seven? Guardians of the Galaxy has got a great soundtrack. There you go. So number one, Zoolander, Elf, Step Brothers. Number two, Love Actually, Notting Hill, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Number three, Ten Things I Hate About You, The Dark Knight, Brokeback Mountain. Number four, Braveheart, Lethal Weapon, Pocahontas. Number five, The Wolf of Wall Street, Dallas Buyers Club, Interstellar. Number six, Titanic, Django Unchained, The Revenant. Long film. Number seven, Fight Club, The Incredible Hulk, Birdman. And number eight, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic Park, The Magnificent Seven. Well, we're on the last round already. It's flown by. It is another picture round. And um, it's called Spitting Image 2020. So we've done a Spitting Image round, which was a show in the UK where uh, famous people were made from puppets. This is basically very similar to that except it's using graphics from the 21st century so you're basically going to see eight famous people eight famous celebrities i just want to know who they are based on their picture clue all right so give you a couple of minutes on these here we go so who are these eight famous people based on their spitting image 2020 image I'm sure you're letting me know in the chat and on the comments exactly how many you are on. I wonder what the winning score will be this week. Some interesting looking characters in this round, that's for sure. Number eight is just scary. So we've got people from the world of TV, film, music. And I'd go as far as say on out of these eight, some are more liked than others. So if you just got to this bit, just to recap, spitting image 2020, you just need to tell me the name of each celebrity. So in previous weeks, high 40s have been the winning score. Is that going to be the case today? Just give you another 30 seconds or so on these. If you do want a little bit longer, then obviously you could just pause me. Okie dokie. So it's time to go through some answers to rounds four, five and six to complete the lockdown quiz tonight. So here we go. So round four was music lyrics. 
I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me, he's just a poor boy from a poor family. So uh, yeah, that was Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Number two, working nine to five, what a way to make a living, barely getting by, it's all taken and no giving. So Dolly Parton, nine to five. Number three, oh baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. And now you're out of sight. Yeah. Britney Spears. Hit me, baby, one more time. Number four, up in the club, club. just broke up, up. I'm doing my own little thing. So that's uh, Beyonce, all the single ladies. Number five. No, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, I don't want none of your time. No Scrubs by TLC. Number six, Daddy Daddy, if you could only see just how he's been treating me, you give it some blessing right now. Uh, Madonna, Papa Don't Preach. Number seven, I want your ugly, I want your disease, I want your everything as long as it's Free. Um, that is Lady Gaga, Bad Romance. And number eight was Raspberry Beret uh, by uh, Prince. I was working part time in a five and dime. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times he didn't like my kind because I was a bit too leisurely. Well done if you got those. Number five was Guess the Actor. So in Zoolander, Elf and Step Brothers, all three quality films. You know it's nearly Christmas when Elf is on. It's obviously Will Ferrell. Love Actually, Notting Hill, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Hugh Grant. Number three, 10 Things I Hate About You, The Dark Knight and Broke Back Mountain. It's the late Heath Ledger. Number four, Braveheart, Lethal Weapon and Pocahontas. Plays Captain John in Pocahontas. It's Mel Gibson. Number five, The Wolf of Wall Street, Dallas Buyers Club and Interstellar. Part of the reconnaissance, Matthew McConaughey. Six, Titanic, Django Unchained, and The Revenant. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. The Revenant was uh, the film that gave him his first Oscar for Best Actor, I believe. Number seven, Fight Club, The Incredible Hulk, and Birdman, the very talented Ed Norton. Do enjoy his films. And number eight, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic Park, The Magnificent Seven. Well done if you put Chris Pratt. Tough one there. And then we had Spitting Image 2020. So there were your pictures. Number one was um, predominantly from Friends, but many other films, Marley and Me, Jennifer Aniston. Number two, musician, Pete Doherty. Number three, The Royal, Hazza, Prince Harry. Number four, female actress, I should have put Dame, Dame Judi Dench. Number five, comedian, turned actor, turned various other bits, former husband of Katy Perry, actually they might still be married, I don't know, I'm sure someone will tell me if they're not, uh, Russell Brand. Number six, Peter Andre, singer, actor, General nice guy, apparently. Mysterious girl. Number seven, the man everyone loves to hate, mainly because he's a bit of a numpty, Piers Morgan. <laughs> and number eight, I think that's a very scary picture. <laughs> it's Madonna. Well done if you got all eight of those. So, scores tonight. Obviously, we're not live, 
but I am interested in knowing how many you got. So let me know via Twitter, tweet me at the underscore quiz underscore wizard, or better than that, leave me a comment in the comments box. So before I go, check out my other mini quizzes from this week um, and some other quizzes that are on the channel too, like Fun With Flags and the uh, Alternative Sports Quiz. And just generally lots of quizzes on my channel, 18 lockdown quizzes to look through, over 40 mini quizzes, and again, over 40 kids quizzes for your children at home to try. Make sure you subscribe, come and join the Facebook group and keep communication open through Twitter. Make sure you like and comment on this quiz. Other than that, that's been the first ever pre-recorded lockdown quiz. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you've seen it through to the end and I look forward to quizzing with you all again soon. Take care, stay safe and uh, it's goodbye from me. Au revoir. <laughs>